Good morning, art buddies, and welcome to Bricolage with Pink Girly. Today I'm going to embellish, 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 embellish. That's what I feel like doing. Good morning, Jacqueline. Morning, Angie. Morning, Gail. Come on, come on in, girls. Woo! All right, so I'm just pulling out some jazz that I think might come in handy. This is the bag where I have all my... When I take books apart, all the backings of the spines. That's some yummy stuff in there. So maybe we'll use some of that. And I was just pulling apart an old um, hanky, I think this was. Isn't that stuff beautiful? I would love to know how to do that. Mm. Okay, I got to figure out. My phone is not dead, but it was on its way out. So I'm doing a quick charge. I think I have the right uh, glasses on. Good morning, Aunt Beck. Who else we got here? So let's see if I can find me on my phone so I can keep a better eye on chat. I'll go there. It's very dreary here. Feels like we could have snow, actually. It's very dreary. Very gray. There's a bit of nip in the air. Who did I miss? Kim, this is Kay. Hi, Lori, this is Kay. Hi, Kay. Kay Boring? Is it Kay Boring? Or a different Kay? Just want to make sure I greet it. I greet everybody. Okay, so I was just pulling out some stuff. I did get my new Timmy color, Scorch Timber, and it looks really lovely. So I've got some stamps here and a couple of envelope uh, journals. No, get out of here. K, my K, K, how are you? Girls, you know, I've talked about having international students that lived with us. This is one of my girls. Yay. How are you, my sweetie? Gosh, it's been years since we've chatted. Oh, my gosh. K, K. We miss you too, my love. Oh my gosh, you should see my grands. They're old now. Charlotte's eight, okay? Oh my goodness. Well, we'll have to find some time where we can catch up so I can see where you are. No, 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 you're not bothering my video. It's wonderful to have you. Are you still in Korea or did you come to the States? Last time we talked, you weren't sure which which direction you were headed. Your sister was getting married, I think, the last time we talked. So it's been a little while. All right. So I pulled out a couple of my envelope um, journals that I've made in the past. I have a video and I will put that. I might have already put that link in. You're married and in Korea? <laughs> Yay! Oh, I can't wait to tell Colleen. Okay. Wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> um, so what it started out to be, I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm pretty sure I have a, a live. I don't, and I might have done a video. I'm not sure, but the book, these books are made out of just an envelope like this, like a nine by six. And all we did was trim off the end and then I put them on the uh, jelly plate to get the under, you know, the undercoat and get some color on these. And then we just folded them in half, took a stack of like, you know, five or six and um, then just did a simple pamphlet stitch 
to hold them together. I've got my little knot in the center. And just got the uh, menu for today up and ready. All right, Ange, meatloaf, mashed potatoes. That's one of my favorites. What you say? Cornbread biscuits and mac and cheese. <sighs> and then so you have all these pockets. <clears throat> so now this one I did do some stamping on. And I put one of the wax seals on that Calico Kate sent me. Good morning, Peggy. She's putting sheets in the dryer. Peggy's always busy. So I thought I'd like to come in here and decorate a little bit more. I would like to put these in my Etsy shop. So this is what I felt like doing today. So here, here you have it. I have two of them. Whoops, just knocked my phone over. I have two of them that I, um, you know, have done a little more on than, than just making them. So I thought I would continue to gussy them up a little bit. So I got out this big um, calendar that I purchased last year. Now, many of you know Diane Fago. Hey, Roseanne, how are you? Nice to see you. Good morning. <clears throat> By this guy, uh, Rendo, Rendo, French guy. Now, these images are really huge, but I thought I might fussy cut. There's one. I thought this one right here might go with the book that I'm going to work on this morning. And then we'll just see how it goes. So I was going to tear that one out. And see if it works. Now I know these are really huge. But see sometimes I like oversized things. When I'm uh, embellishing. So I'm going to take that one out. And I'll set that calendar aside. All right. I didn't miss anybody, did I? Did I? Okay, when did you get married? Okay. So in this one, when we did it on the jelly plate, um, it looks like I did watercolor and last October. Cool. You're an old married lady now. And so I just used a bunch of different stamps. Now, what I was thinking is, now let me get your opinion. If you were going to make something like this or purchase something like this, and this is a nice size to keep in your handbag. So let's see, it's about eh, four and three quarters by seven. Okay, Gary has three children now. He has three little girls. A three-year-old, no, she three, three, two, and one that was just born uh, in September. There's Kathy. Hi, Cass. I know he's loving it. He is such a good dad. He's so happy. Okay, so I just put some seam, what I call seam binding, just around the back threads. Yes, you come visit me. Woohoo! And, um, I'm wondering if I should make little tags to put section, you know, to mark sections or that someone could mark sections, say like grocery receipts or, um, I don't know, my, my brain's going blank. Um, what else would you pop in here? Hey, Stitch It. Hi, good morning, Pam. Nice to see you. We've got a nice crowd this morning. Thanks for coming in, girls. Um, 
you know, I could do whale's tail tabs or I could just provide the little tags that the individual could put on them themselves. What else could you keep in one of these pockets? You could keep mileage records or you could keep little notes or grocery lists. See, now this one was a little piece of a of a um, old, old timey linen. See, I just stuck that on there. Anyway, I want to put some other stuff in here to kind of gussy this up a little bit more. I think the front cover is pretty cool. Maybe I could use something down here. So I'm open to ideas. Now I'm just looking around my workstation here to see what other bits I can grab to um, you know start building on and making some other additions to this already I think cute little book got some lace you know all right I'm going to put on my hot glue gun because I do like to use my hot glue gun Mishi's Crochet Nook. So am I saying that right, Mishi? Is it Mishi? Hello and welcome. Thank you. Hi, Judy. Good morning, Judy. Girls, I'm so excited. The young lady that lived with us for a couple of years back in the day, one of our Korean students, is here to visit me this morning in chat. She's here as Kim, but we called her Kay. She was our little Kay. <clears throat> She's the one who used to go down the hall, bang on the bathroom and door and scream, Chinon, are you naked? <laughs> okay, I was telling the girls not too terribly long ago about going and getting that uh, prom dress for Chinon. And then when we got home, she couldn't sit. Is that your last name now, Kay, Kim? She's an absolute sweetheart. Absolute sweetheart. She's the one that put the... No, that was Young. Young was the first gal we had. Kay, we were sitting at the dinner, at the dinner table one time. And we were talking about something. And I don't remember what it was. It's still Kim. Okay. Um, but she wasn't quite understanding what we were meaning. And I guess Gary said something snarky about it. And Kay said, well, I am a foreigner. We still laugh about that. I know. I miss Chanon as well. And I, I've never been able to find her. She never, she never has gotten in touch. And um a couple of the girls like yo 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 never got back in touch with me so i lost contact really with all of them except you you're the only one that has stayed in touch and um ron and i went to massachusetts one time and we were able to connect with young and we took her out to dinner she was in college at that time but that's the last we'd seen or heard of you know, or was able to contact her. I know it's sad. I would love to know what Shannon's up to. So fun. So fun. Okay, and just making cards. Cool. All right, so let me get started on something here. So I think I need something here. So if anybody has any ideas about what, or even if I should put, um, you know, like identify the pockets or just let it go. All right, so I want to pull out some, maybe some bits of fabric that I can glue down. I do have a little piece of um, napkin here that I was thinking might look cute on one of these pages. So we'll just see how it goes. 
I don't know. Some of these pages are already pretty cute. Let me get out my... Nothing like admiring your own work. Let me get out my calendar page here. I'm just, you know, what's one of these sprigs might be cute. So let's just um, let's let's cut one of these out. Let's just see how this looks. All right, I might need smaller scissors here. Now, let me find a page that I think this might look good on. It might look good on that page. Sometimes the first page you look at is the one you end up going with. I want something a little more. Yeah, it's got some blue and green in it. And mostly what I have in here are just little snips of stuff that... Um, Normally, I would throw away. She's watching and listening while designing and crocheting a new baby toddler sweater. Oh, fun. I do. Oh, thank you, Mishi. I have been told that before, which is kind of weird to me. Because I kind of, I think I have kind of a boring voice, but I guess that would be soothing, boring. All right, so let me see. I'm going to just start trimming out this. Can you see what I'm doing? And this is, you know, our fussy cutting. So I'm just going to see what this looks like on. I might even be able to put this on the front cover. I've had an exhausting couple of days, but really have not um, accomplished much of anything. I've kind of been kind of sluggish. So, I had three or four of these envelope um, journals in a Ziploc bag, and I saw them the other day, and I thought I should really get back to that. And finish those up. Now some of the girls. I know Murray does it. And probably some of you do it as well. Might take a stack of things out of a magazine. And um, sit in front of the TV. Or if you're relaxing somewhere. And get your scissors. And do fussy cutting. And then that way when you want to use something. It's already cut out. You don't have to sit and take time when you're getting ready to really create. And I do have some things cut out. Here's our Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Good morning. Oh, what did Kath say? Did I miss it? Did Kath have to leave? I think I missed it. Andrea's here. Good morning, Andrea. All right, we got a good gang in the house. I wanted to mention last time, and I forgot, I I have been in contact with Shaz. She's been having a rough go. She's not been feeling well and dealing with some stuff. So if you think of her or you have a way to contact her, you might want to just send her a little message. Um, she's hanging in there, but if you think of her, Remember her, please. She would appreciate that, I know. And we have such a time change, you know, time difference. It's, I think it's probably hard for her to pop in. Yeah, our sweet little Shaz, yeah. 
So now I'm she's on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, you probably could find her and just send her a little hello. Would be cool. Now this isn't super fussy because these leaves are a good size, but I think it might look cute. Hmm. Oh, you're welcome. I was so annoyed with myself uh, after I signed off last, I guess, Thursday. I wanted to tell you that I had gotten a hold of her. Because not everybody checks their, we email too. She's good with email. But not everybody's in there checking their email all the time, you know. And uh, sometimes the days kind of, kind of slip by pretty quick. They slip by pretty quick. Yeah, and they're going faster and faster, right? Okay, let's see. I might need to put on a different pair. I think my lenses are working out pretty well. Like as far as being able to see without anything on, like when I'm driving and stuff, without having to put on glasses, which is really nice for me. But trying to get the right glasses, like the right readers to put on while I'm trying to see my computer screen that's a certain distance away. That's been a little trickier. All right, let's see. And I was just telling Jacqueline yesterday, I've got a big bottle of art glitter glue. I have no idea what I did with it. That's That's been missing for months. And now I can't find my um, embossing glazes. I don't know where the heck I put them. Such a gooba. Such a gooba. All right, let's see. You guys probably can't see that very well, can you? Because it's kind of really blends in with that page. All right, so this page has a flap. Oh, that might be cool to put some of it there. And have it go over on the flap. All right, I've got some... Uh, Golden Matte Medium here. And I'm just going to put some on the back of my petals. I got that big petal at the bottom. Let's get some on that. Oh, I wonder what I was going to ask you guys. I was going to ask Jacqueline and I didn't. Do I need some... I've watched a couple of things, and I think Jacqueline uses this. What do they call it? Liquid Pearl. Do I need some Liquid Pearls? Is Dar here? Hi, Dar. Good morning. Okay, I like how that looks. Now, let's see. 
I think I want to outline that. Maybe if I can find my Navy Stabilo pencil, that might be the easiest way to do it. I could probably use some of my Timmy crayons too, or my Neo 2s. Does anybody here use, um, you know what, I'm going to switch out my other glasses, see if I can see chat a little better. Oh, it's a little better. Flo said, everybody needs liquid pearls, whether they craft or not. Okay, I'm going to look into it then. Kara, uh, Jacqueline likes them. Yours are pokey. Hmm. I might have to get more information on that. I don't know what you mean by pokey. So it's more of a satiny. It's not like a art. It's not like a, oh, what am I thinking of? It's not like um, stickles, right? It's not glittery. They're not glittery. Dressing my black. Um, I've got all these jars with all my pencils and stuff in it. my navy here's my this is stabilo all is the uh, just regular dark black graphite color Let's see what that looks like if i outline it because <clears throat> i want this to pop a little bit so I'm just going to smudge some of this pencil around the outside of the leaf. Let's try this bottom leaf here. Oh, Kimberly, she's going for wife of the year. I tried ironing my husband's shirts. I guess when we were first married, but, you know, I didn't do it right. So that was the end of that. I'm like, okay, buddy, you're on your own. And he does a much better job and he doesn't mind. So that was the end of that. So now I'm taking a, a damp pink brush and just mushing that pencil around because that'll move see if that's dark enough for what I want mm. I guess you really can't see it that well can you It's not too bad. Let's do a little more. Our son would just wear his shirts wrinkly. 
That was embarrassing. Okay, are you on Instagram? I have to find a way that I can contact, you know, send you a message. Yeah, go ahead and nominate me. <laughs> okay, Kimberly. You got it, kid. There's Joyce. Hi, huh, Joyce. All right, let's get the rest of this. I was looking to see if Mary was on this morning. And then I saw she's doing some kind of a doodly thing, some kind of doodle deck. I have to, I have to, I have to pop in and see what that's about. That sounds fun. Dar said the weather here is bizarre. It was raining and the temperature dropped below 30, so then it turned to snow for an hour and the temperature went back up. Terrain, all this in a two hour span. It was raining here this morning in South Jersey, and it does feel like snow out there. But I never really listened to the weather, so I have not a clue on what might we to expect. All the snow we had the other day is gone. It's been raining for a couple days. Hubs is going out later tonight with the guys at church to go to a, a football. He doesn't really watch football, but he does like hanging out with the guys at church. So he'll go probably eat some wings. All right, now maybe a little marker or something. Okay, so let me pull out. Um, I have this long tin that I like to keep um, little bits, little bits and bobs in. And let's see what else I can find to go on here. I don't think I want a feather. Well, that's some pretty lace. Okay, mm -hmm. all our puppies are gone. All our puppies have passed on. I'm trying to talk Ron into another one. We just lost our Bella. I don't think Kay was with us when we got our first dog. I think it was Shannon and the young. All right, so this is a piece of muslin. That might be fun to stamp something on. Let's see. That's a pretty nice piece of ribbon. Now, again, most of the time when I'm working with something like this, I don't want it to get too. Um, too thick and bulky. I want to use I want to use flat stuff. Unless it's the cover. And then I don't mind so much. I'm getting a little bulk. And 
Why don't you start throwing stuff together? There's Brenda. Hi, Brenda. How have you been? Nice to see you. Yeah, Lori, you got me excited for I know. I'm so silly. I finally took it down because so many people are commenting about the little dog. That was our little loose that we lost a couple of years ago. Um, I was trying to show Jacqueline the, the kind of dog that I like and that we had. And I thought I posted it for her on IG. But I, I I don't know how I did it. I posted it on Facebook. Now everybody's thinking I got a dog. No, no, silly me. No idea what I'm doing. All right, I'm thinking about this, stamping this. Let me get my stays on. Yeah, Luce was a Maltese, and our other dogs were a Maltese. A Yorkshire Terrier mix. They call them Morkies. But they have hair. They don't have, um, you know, the fur and the dander. They have hair. And they don't shed. And their Lucy was only about seven pounds. And um, I think my stays on needs to be juiced up. You remember Lucy? Yeah, really, it was Colleen's dog, the little white, the little white dog. I'm gonna have to get my. Do you remember Bella? Bella came after Luce. It stays on midnight now. Yes, we came home from that trip, and we had Lucy with us. I'm rooting, excuse me, I'm rooting through my re-inkers here trying to find my stays on jet black. All right, so this is how I'm going to re-ink. I just have my little re-inker bottle. And I'm just now, Tim Holtz will put some in the center. And then he takes a, um, like an old gift card or an old credit card. And then he moves it out to the edges. At least that's what I saw him do. But I'm I just smush it around. And you can probably well maybe you can't see. This um, is really drinking it up, so it must really be pretty dry. I still got a goodly amount in there. Peggy says, Lori, when you post on IG, there is a button to push if you want to post to Facebook also. Yeah, but I was in um I was in IG on a feed where Jacqueline and I chat together. So I was trying to figure that out. So and I had it. I saw the word post, but I just thought it was posting it to where I was. I wasn't, you know, on Facebook. So that that's what happened there. And then Kathy had said to me, did you get a dog? And I'm like, no. And she's like, oh, well, that picture. And I'm like, what picture? So then I went looking for it. And then all these people were commenting. I felt bad. All right, so I'm trying to get that not too shabby on that little piece of coffee-stained muslin. Ah, oh, technology. Yes. So that kind of looks okay there. All right, let's see. I might want to add... Hmm. 
Yes, they keep changing stuff. Gosh, even my bingo game, they're changing stuff. Just leave it alone already. All right, this is a little B. Maybe I'll put a couple little Bs on here. Get the whole thing inked up. Yeah, I like that. I like this little B. I put some out on the flap. <laughs> cute. That is cute. All right, so now let's get. I'm going to cover my stays on up. Stays on up to the east side. Okay, I'm looking for my fabric tack. I think I'm going to grab a little piece of cheesecloth. Let's put a little piece of that down and that fabric. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can squeeze some of this glue out here. Now I'm using the fabric tack because I've got that piece of cloth and the cheese cloth, and I just find that works really well for me. I could have let that dry a little longer. Now I want to work that bend in. I like when things go off the page. It's just me. So it's not much added on to there, but it's a little, a little something, something. There was something I was wanting to do the other day, and I thought, oh, I'll do that when I take my nails off before I put my next set on. And when I took my nails off, do you think I could think of what I was going to do? Nope. Nope. I think I might want to doodle a little bit around these leaves. Let's just see how that looks. So let's grab... Oh, let's grab here. This is a pit pen. One, oh, that's a little thick. I don't know if I want it that thick. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Andrea. Well, maybe. Could all go wrong here. My desk is really crowded today. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. Some little, put some little. Um, what the, what's her? What does Tammy? Uh, Tam Tamara Laporte does. She does little um, things like this, and then you can put little. Like little leaves. 
can't really see it that much, but it just adds a little something else. Okay. And then I'll have to remember to do the flap. Peggy said, Gail, I tried my grand and virtual set once and almost killed myself. I need to stay in reality. <laughs> All right, let's do that little doodly here. A little doodly do. I am definitely not the best doodler. But generally, it looks better if you go back and look at it the next day, or like I like to say, or from across the street. You know? Okay, now I have this little ribbon here, which is kind of cute. This has little butterflies on it. I've got a butterfly there. Of course, it's upside down, but I'm not concerned about that. Now, this is one of the pockets. This was the bottom of the envelope, so there's no flap. So maybe a little piece of that ribbon right there would be nice, and I could leave a little bit hanging out the bottom. Lori, read my other message. Chloe, we walk around waiting for that hip to break. Lori, not to be pushy, but when are you doing... Oh, I, I know. You know what, Peggy? I am just so... I thought of it again today. All right, can I just be honest with you? I was waiting for a good hair day, and I had a good hair day, and I didn't do it. I got distracted. Because I wanted to do a little video with my face and talk to the camera. Well, then I went and had my teeth pulled. Now I don't have any teeth in my head. I've got, like, mostly just open spaces. So now I don't want to do it because I don't have any freaking teeth. So um, I have I need a plan B. So my goal is to do it this week, Peggy. My goal is to do it this week, and hope hopefully everything else will stay normal, so I don't get distracted. Like with the with the with the mom. With the mother, with the mother. Sorry, I know Peggy is so gracious to offer to um, to um, send a giveaway on my behalf because I hit 2,000 subscribers. Well, that's good. I'm glad about that, Gail. Yeah. I had the, um, you know, the caps and all done, and I just don't have enough tooth there for the for the uh, caps to stay in, and they kept falling out, and then somehow I cracked and I cracked one up in the gum. It, it's just been a mess. So I had to go to the oral surgeon and have those two removed. So I basically just have three teeth. <laughs> in the front. Ah. 
you know, and it's like when you're talking and you smile and I don't know where to look at the camera that it, it, it'll be, it would be a riot anyway. But I'm just going to go with plan B, which I guess just do a video like this and just talk and do stuff with my hands. It is a little embarrassing. To have no teeth. Thank you, Andrea. Yeah, and I'm not going to do much. Um, just I'm going to have people leave messages. And, you know, then I'll put everybody's name maybe on a spinny wheel. Because I like that spinny wheel. And, um, you know, I've got a few things that I'd like to give away. And Peggy and Devin offered to also send something. So, and now I've got red nails on for February. So, so I got to get it done. Got to get her done. All right, so now this looks kind of cute, but maybe I'll try some of that new Timmy color and add some of that on, right? That should work. So his new color is a brown called Scorched Timber, and it looks very yummy, very yummy. Very generous of Peggy and Devin, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take just one of my old crusty... Um, Blending tools. Oh, I should ask you guys. You guys might know this. I saw a reel the other day. I guess it was yesterday. And I think it's Simon from Simon Says. It looks like his hands anyway. And um, he always uses that stamping. Uh, we had talked about it before. That thing that looks like the Misty. That's like a stamping platform. And he puts his stencil down. And he was using, I guess, his distress inks. And he had, um, it was round. It was black. It looked like black wood and a, and a knob like this on the end. But not rectangle. It was round. And it had brush hairs that were only about maybe, I'll say, a half inch. And he was rubbing his color on that and then rubbing his stencils. And um, gosh, it looks so handy to use to use that. And I wanted to know what those brushes were. Okay, so I pulled out some of my favorite Timmy stuff. So here's a butterfly. Let's see if I can. get another let's get another butter well I'm dreaming on that aren't I that doesn't that doesn't work let me see if I can find a uh... I had a pretty good size knob on it they were like maybe an inch and a half round you wonder if Colleen has it yeah, Simon Hurley. That's that. Yeah, that's his last name, I think. Isn't he? Doesn't he have? Isn't that his company? Simon says. Maybe I have that wrong. He's a young fella. He's a young fella. Oh well, now I push my drawer shut. We can get it open again. All right. I don't want to waste a lot of time trying to. Did I miss, did Kathy leave? Did she say she had to go and I miss saying goodbye to her? Oh, I hate when I do that. Oh, Tim Holtz has a new blending tool. Oh. Some kind of fan I am. Some kind of fan I am. I miss that. All right, let me ink this up and see. This is the new... Scorched. K 
Kathy said she went back to bed. Okay, thanks, Gail. Yeah, she's been struggling with. Aches and pains and weather change. And oh, poor, she, poor kid. She's really had a tough go of it. All right, let me see if this is going to be dark enough. She, she might not have even been able to sleep well last night. Okay, not too bad. Could have been better. See, and I like these big numbers too. Let's get those out. Oh, Gail, are they? Yeah. It's hard on our bodies, isn't it? Yeah. I think I bit my lip when I was sleeping. Oh, my gosh. I keep, I keep knocking it. I know it's there. I keep pinching it. Okay, I'm going to put these letters right side up this time. Right down here. Can you see what I'm doing? Now, one thing that Simon was doing, he took some of the um, Distress inks, put it on a piece of glass or a palette of some kind, and then he colored in on an image like this. But he probably used an archive ink that wasn't going to move, which this is, this isn't, this is, you know, just the, this is an oxide. So I wonder how much it will. I wonder how much it will move. I was thinking a little bit of color might be cool in here. Let's just play around and see. Oh, Gail. Okay, I don't want to knock my camera, but it's very, very likely that I will. I'm going to pull out my Neo 2s. And I just want to add maybe a little brightness to some of these wings. This is, um, I don't know what it is. This is orange. There you go. Some of them, some of mine are older and they just have a number. Dad's calling. Okay, Gail. So I'm just taking a little bit of water in the back end of my Neo 2 and just painting in there a little bit. Let's see what else have I got in here. Let's get this blue. See if this one has a color. Turquoise, turquoise blue. Not very clever. Now, you can go as crazy as you want with this, right? That I got a little overzealous. And I could come back in here if I had thought about this ahead of time. Come back in here with a color pencil and kind of deepen, deepen that on the side. But I don't have... My color pencils out here. This is a darker, this is more of a green. Gosh, I have more and more trouble trying to see these labels. See, this is an older one, so it just has the number 190. I found um, someone getting rid of their Neo 2s on um, 
eBay quite some time ago. But they just don't have the colors listed on the label. It's just a number. Which is okay. They work very well. I don't know if I can get too much contrast out of this one. This one is O2. It looks like um, really like a light blue gray, kind of. Not quite white, but very close. And I'm going to get something darker that kind of mimics that brown from the scorched timber. Peggy and I were talking about getting old the other day, right, Peg, last night? Getting old is not for the faint of heart. Hubby's home. Okay. So that doesn't look too bad. Jazz that up a little bit. Alrighty. This page looks pretty good. I don't know what else I might add. See, I've got that seam right there. Maybe a little lace on that seam. Let's see. I've got this. I've got this one. Oh, that's right. I've got that little sequins pin in there. Boy, they are so, they are so little. This lace is so pretty. Maybe I'll put a little piece of that down. I think I like that. And we can leave that a little longer as well. I like things that hang out and dangle and dingle dangly things. I like that quite a lot. I'm going to get a different pin though. Peggy, when are you going on your trip? I forget what you said. All right, I think I want to do the uh, fabric tack again. It's like a big amoeba. I don't know if you can see right there the glue. It's got to move its way down. Going to Ireland mid-August to mid-September. Nice, nice. Just you and your hubby or any of the kids going? 
I'd be tagging along with mom and dad. <laughs> okay. Now this I could really flip back over and just make a little tab. And then somewhere I've got a little pink. It might be too thick. It might be too big or too thick. Oh, one of your sons might come for a week. Oh, nice. See, now this is a little thicker, but because of the type of fabric that the little rose is made of, they're real squishy. So I'm going to snip one of these off. It's got that extra little piece of netting. Right there. I could attach a pin, a little pin or a little little bead or something to there. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, so let me glue that down. And I'm hoping it was, that doesn't interfere too much with my tie closure. And let's add a little more. I'm thinking of that. Uh, Daisy, Daisy sour cream commercial. Do a dollop, do do a dollop a Daisy. Woo. All right, now somewhere. Without digging out a bunch of stuff. Yeah, here's one. Here's a little bulb pin. And I could do a little button. I could do a little charm. I could do a little bead. See, this is too chunky. But a little seed bead might be nice. I think I have those not right close by. I was... Um, Slow stitch, and I have them out by my, out by my comfy chair, so I can add that on later. Like a little pink seed bead that wouldn't be much, and then I can pin that on that little piece of mesh. But you get the idea. I really could have dangled it from this little loop too. So I've got my little pin there that I can add a little bead or a charm to. All right. And we've got another little decorated pocket. Lovely. Now I'm thinking I want to add something to the front cover. And I pulled out this piece of fabric. I think I just want to take a little swatch of it. Now I've got that little bird there and I don't want to cover I don't want to cover that up. That might be a little too large. 
And then I'm thinking maybe some of that book binding stuff. Oh, I wanted to mention this too. Tuesday, we were messing around with freezer paper and ironing uh, napkins to freezer paper. I tried it. Oh, what did I do with that? I tried it on a piece of fabric. It worked really good too. Um, I have this fabric called Feed Sack. It's real light, real light, like a real light cotton. I just was showing Jacqueline. What did I do with them? Let's see if it's right here. There they are. Hold on. Hold on. So here's the um, freezer paper, shiny side up, and I did it the same way that we did the um, napkin, but this is a real thin fabric feed sack. Look at this. I was going to try, oh, maybe I could put that in this book. I was going to try to fussy cut that, see how that worked. But it, it adhered pretty well. Now, I don't want to... I don't want to yank it, so it'll pr it probably will come off if you really yank it, but it just gives you, um, a little more, I know, isn't it, Peggy? Yeah, after you guys left, I was doing it on fabric, and I did some other napkins, um, yeah. It is addicting for me, too. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's dig in here. Okay, are you still here? I was thinking I should have Ron come say hello. So, you know, this has got a bit of chunk on it from the book. From a book. I can yank that off. But see, I like that stuff. Isn't that cool? So if you peel the spine off of a book and you can get it to come apart, you get this meshy. It really does kind of resemble um, cheesecloth, really, to me. Lori, that is a fun looking bag of paint. <laughs> it's all my bits from the bindings, taking books apart. So I hate throwing that away because I just love the way that looks. So I'm going to use a piece of this on the front. And then I'm going to grab another little piece of my cheesecloth because I super duper love that. Super duper. It's kind of the same color as uh, my book binding stuff. Yeah, I have a hard time throwing anything away. Hmm. I need something ingenious to put on the on there. I don't know if I want a button. Let's see if I didn't already put this down, I could put that on top. But that's a moot point. Moot. Moot. I could. Sh I could push it up. Push it up. Scrappy goodness. Yes, true. Exacto mundo. What if I... Hmm. Just wondering if I glue or squish this, if I might like it better. Glue or squish? 
if I put everybody asleep. Hmm. It needs it needs something else. It needs um I don't know, like a book page or maybe some uh some Timmy stuff. Let's see. What did I have out? I had out a bit of washi. No, I don't think washi. The brain's going. You find everything buried. Let's get out my little Paris tin. See there, see that's a nice piece of, see and it just, oh it just tears like, <gasps> mm. got some little labels, I think I had all this stuff out on Thursday. Timmy doll might be cute. Oh, I've got my little bits of napkin that was on the freezer paper in here too now. <laughs> this is a piece of linen washi tape. The colors don't really go. Flowers. Probably just walked by and said that lady has nice nails. <laughs> Thank you, hubby. That's cute. Little bee. Oh, that's pretty. I love rummaging through all my jazz. All my jazz. Where's Dusty? Hi, Dusty. Did you just get here? I hope I didn't miss you. Nice to see you. Is it is it afternoon now? Instead of saying, yes, yeah, good afternoon. All right, there goes my... <gasps> Kay, Kay, do you remember... Um, Nancy, my sister Nancy's daughter, Caitlin. Do you remember the cousins? Monica. She she was the blonde. And then Caitlin and Alex, they were the younger ones. I'm assuming Kay is still here. Oh, I hope Dad's doing okay, Gail. All right, let's see. Oh, this little fella is so cute. All right, I'm just going to start putting stuff down. He's fine, good. Excellent. Where my mom lives, they were expecting a male resident to arrive on Tuesday. Haven't gotten the load down yet. It's not, I don't think there's any men there residents where my mom is in the in the memory unit section there's men you know in assisted living but i still think this is a little too large let's cut some of this off I wanted to get something darker under here. Let's show that off a little bit. That might be a little better. I 
I know. I mean, if my mom was, if my mom was at herself, her being herself, she'd be all over that. The last place she was, she kept talking about this meal. Man uh, would sit at her table for uh, meals. Well, I guess they were assigned maybe to that table. I don't know. But she kept saying he, he was the boyfriend of another resident, which I don't think that's true. That was just my mom's perception. But she's not been too feisty lately, so I don't think she's interested. But her and one lady there, apparently they're, they're buddies. They keep making faces at each other. They're kind of funny. The way they carry on. <laughs> I do love these little labels. Yeah, we're looking into that. I don't think so, Gail. We think um, this last episode was um, she had a UTI, which kind of would um, make sense with her recent behavior. But she seems more herself now. My sister was just there. These folks are so good with these residents. They're so patient and um, caring for them. You know, I mean, they're just... really go with them. The head nurse there, he's he's amazing. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Oh, Dusty. Hmm. Okay. Now, see, I've got a little um, paper with a little bird back there. So I don't want to cover that up either. But I'm wondering if maybe another, um, maybe a paper doll on the front. Or I don't know that I can find... Like another bird. I wish I had another bird like that. I might have something like that in my Timmy stuff. I don't think that's a napkin, though. I think that was a piece of um, paper. Thanks, Sussy. I do like this little card with this number. Just going to ink up those edges a little bit. You like the paper doll? All right. I kind of like this, too. I want to add this on. See if I put that there. Now, see, he looks like he needs to be sitting on something. I was thinking about putting him up there to have him sitting on that, but I don't want him to cover the bird. I don't want him to cover the bird. So what can I put there that he could sit on? That might work. How's that look? I wonder if this would be too fiddly if somebody would want to keep this in their handbag. You know, with all that jazz and mataz there. Okay, so let's get his little... Let's put this end out so we can see that brown. I kind of like that. Alright, so let's get that down. 
He looks so serious, doesn't he? He might need a little pink on his cheeks. Hold on. Let's get out the crayons. If I can find the pink crayons. Might be too that might be too light. So let's get that one out too. Well, oh, this one might be better. This one is worn lipstick. Oh yeah. Now let's see. This could be a little tricky. I'm going to use the back of my hand as a palette. Let's see. All right, everyone, I must go. Okay, Gail, enjoy your day. Take care. Don't do too much. If you want a nap, take a nap. So that's what Riri said to me the other day. I'm getting ready to take a nap. Why not? Exactly. Why not? All right. I don't want him to look like a clown. So I put a little bit on and then I test tap. You might not be able to see it. Put a little bit on and then took it off with my finger. And there's just a little hint of pink on his little cheeks. Okay. Let's see. So I want him there. And I'm going to use my... All right, I'm trying not to get a avalanche going here from my drawer. Get this little tush right there. And then I want to put this little piece here. I love that. Love it. Now I've got this little um, bird down the corner. It's kind of hard to see. So I'm thinking maybe I need to color him in a little bit. Let's see. I wonder how the Timmy crayons would work. This is where I get in trouble because I don't have... Not in trouble in trouble, you know what I mean. This is pretty clean. I wonder if I could. This one is broken china. I'm going to scrub a little bit of that on this ceramic palette. And then get my brush. And loosen that up. And let's see. Oh, that's not too bad. I don't want it to, to be too bright. You know, I can go back. Let's make him blue because I've got blue along the edge here. Yeah, I, I had a bunch and I traded them away. It was a good trade because I didn't 
really know how to use them. And then the girl I traded them to, she was using them. And I thought, man, how clever is she? So then I went and bought them all again. Oh, that's cute. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep saying it's my stuff's cute. But that just made him pop a little bit. Okay, so let's put a little blue on the dots. He's got dots on his wing back here. And then I'm thinking some green. I love blue and green. Okay, let's see. This one is Rustic Wilderness. Eh, I think this one might be a little too... Um, yeah, I think I want peeled paint or, or the... Um, I don't know if I have both of them. Peeled paint or um, bundled sage. That's more of what I'm thinking. It's more what's in my head. Oh, look, my Link of Stella's. That might be good. Oh, this is a frosted one. Fresh blossom. Oh, I wish that smelled like fresh blossom. Mm. Oh, that's really bright. That might work. Feel paint. Now that looks really, really kind of snotty in that dish, but it's nice. It's a nice yellowy green. So, you know what? Maybe I want to do that lighter green first. Just got a little hint of green in the background. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, that's nice. Lovely. Now let's get a little of that peeled paint. Now I'm working with a tiny brush. It's got a really tiny tip. Let's see. This is a number two, but it's got a nice point on it so I can get into those little boxes. I'll show you in a minute. I'm just kind of doing a random... little random pattern there on that front wing. I don't know if you can see it real well. I'm waiting to see it come up on my on my phone. You see? Now let's dry that and then I'm gonna put some Winkastello on there. Oh it's got a little beak the little beaker. You know a little beaker color. Rusty Hinge, one of my thieves. It's more of an orangey. Now, these are just envelopes. But this is one of my favorite things I've ever made. I use my envelope journals almost every day. Now, this is the clear wink of Stella. Thank you, Kimberly. Thanks, Susty. All right, so I want to give this a good shake. And this is going to put some, like, um, it's not glitter. It's, it's like a fine glitter shimmer. Just catches the light a little bit. Got a little light spot there. I'm going to add some in. Oh, yeah. I don't think you guys will be able to tell on the camera. It's frosty. It's just a little frosty. Okay. So, how are we doing here? Well, we've been here about an hour and a half. Not too bad. 
So now I've got the little guy on the front. And then I did do some things. Now, maybe we should just throw some lines around that. What do you think? I'm so nervous just to do it. I'm thinking, oh, I got a stamp that I could do. Could I stamp? Oh, maybe I could stamp. Um, wait a minute. Where's that little? Here's, let's get this. Let's get this little stamp Rooney here. See, sometimes it doesn't have to be much, but just maybe a little something on here. So I've got this little number, this little number stamp. See, I'll stamp on anything. The back, uh, I've got hot glue on my new nails. Okay. Doodle time, doodle little time. Okay, let's, um, I want this to be as flat as it can be when I put this little stamp on. I think it might have gotten blurry. Yeah, the number part, eh. I could glue something over top of that. If I find I can't let it go. You know, sometimes I can let it go and other times I cannot. Back in the, back in the bag again. You like it, Blurry? Oh, I'm thinking I like it with something over top of it. <laughs> yeah. Let's give it a minute. Let's give it a minute to I'll, I'll digest it. I'm nervous about going around. I like how people go around things with a little like sketchy kind of, not really sketchy, but like like a haphazard circle. This is a piece of that calendar, you know, just around like that. But it makes me nervous. That's all right. See, sometimes I have to say to myself, back away from the journal. This could really have another piece of like a little piece of fabric. And then we worked on this one. Just added some fabric, some washi, and this fussy cut there. I went over onto the flap. And we added this ribbon, stamped, and the butterfly, and we painted him in a little. See, and I do have other stamps in here, so it's not totally bare. And this was already here, so I added the lace and made the little tab with the cute little soft rose. See, this is a stamp. So you have that stamp where it does those lines for you. Plenty of room in the pockets. And then this page, see, like at the ends of the... Um, a piece of fabric you might have the, the name of the company see i save all that because i think that's cool it's cool man and then we still have another page here where you know i could do some more and then i've got my ties where you can remove these if you wanted to to tie it up 
I'm getting real hungry for some lunch. So I think that's going to be all for me for today, ladies. So I'll let you get out of here. Hot Sunday. So I know Anne will be on later today unless something's come up with for her. But she usually comes on around 5 Eastern. And then Mary will be on this evening. And um, yeah, so I've got that one. So I think I'm going to call that pretty much finished. And then I've got this other little one here. I might fuss around with this a little later. You know? And um, play around with that. Being as I got a lot of this stuff out. So. Hubby's ready for a day of football and junk food. Yeah. I could go for the junk food. See, I'm a... I'm not a fair weather football fan, but I'm, if my team's out, I'm out. And my team had a very disappointing end end of the season. They finished poorly, really finished poorly. So I probably won't watch football. I'll probably watch YouTube. YouTube. Well, thanks for being here. I appreciate you coming in, spending time with me. It was a thrill for me to see my little K. <laughs> what a treat. And to see all of you lovely ladies. So enjoy the rest of your day. A lot of us, I think, are getting some cooler weather. So stay warm. And um, don't forget to take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I shall see you soon, I hope. I don't know if I have to play cards today. If I don't have to play cards, I might be able to pop in on AM. We'll see. All right, ladies, take care. Thanks for coming in. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.